one, two, one, two, three. music with Ryan. Today I've got a free lesson for you. It's the tune Wildwood Flower done by the Carter family. One of the most popular old-time traditional Carter family songs. It's one of the first you kind of start playing on when you're getting into this genre of music. If you'd like to download the tabs and four audio backing tracks and the video, you can save it for later, click the link down there in the description box and you'll enter your email and you can download everything for free. You might There might be a link above too depending but um, again, you can download everything you need, all the practice tools, four audio tracks to work your speed up, and you can want, download the video to save for later as well. Um, we're going to walk through everything measure for measure, very slowly and patiently so you can understand exactly what's going on. Because there's lots of little nuances here in this style of music, and we've got to get, some, uh, get a few things right. Uh, pick direction, left hand fingerings, and so forth. So... Yeah, this is a good way to kind of, the Carter style is, is a good way to kind of play the melody and accompany yourself at the same time. That's why a lot of people like to get into it. So again, I'm going to start walking through this measure for measure. We're going to go through the whole lesson here on YouTube um, or Facebook, depending on where you're watching. But we're going to go through the whole lesson. And again, if you want to download the tabs and the audio, boom, click that link and you get all the tools you need um, to get working on this song. So I'm going to bring the camera on in. I'm going to put the tabs up on the screen as well, and we're going to start walking through Wildwood Flower in the key of C. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and start breaking down Wildwood Flower here in the key of C, Carter style, of course. And um, I'm going to play the first few measures for you here and then break them on down real slow so you understand what's going on. So real quick, um, other things to make sure you understand is the pick directions or the symbols below the staff are pick directions okay and um, the staple looking objects are downstrokes and the kind of V looking um, shapes are upstrokes also um, any markings above the staff like uh, fingering uh, they'll, they'll be fingering numbers so you see the little numbers above each measure um, not each measure but those will be left hand fingerings, okay? So just so you know how to read that. So I'm gonna play these first few measures um, again and we'll break them down. So it starts on beat three, got a little pick up there and it sounds like this, one, two. And I went on to the first beat of the next measure, measure five. I'll do that again. One, two. So, again, playing the Carter style, we're playing the melody um, kind of while we accompany ourselves. And we're going to be working primarily with like within the chords. You kind of have to think. Um, that we're going to be playing, again, the notes, the melody notes, within the chord. So there won't be too much left hand movement. Um, so that first little bit, again, I'm kind of starting on a C. Then it's a quarter note on the second fret D, quarter note on the third fret D. And I'm using my second and third finger just as marked there. Okay, and you see they're down strokes. So down strokes on down beats upstrokes on upbeats. Another important thing to remember. Um, downbeats are one, two, three, four, and the upbeats are what's in between. So, and then I play the open G note, and I'm thinking my C chord here, and then I strum the down up. See, there's a down up on zero, one, zero. Well, that's the highest three sounding strings of your C chord right over here. That's zero, one, zero. So then I, so again, I play that open G and then I strum down, up, then second fret G. I have to move that second finger down to catch it. It's marked there above the staff, second finger. And then I play the B string first fret and I'm there. So that measure exactly is ready, go. Going on, 
on, I put my second finger back into place for the C chord. And I strum. And then third fret on the D. Second fret on the D. And you can choose, I use my pinky right there. You can use your pinky or your third finger. Um, either one is totally fine. Okay, so it's a quarter note on the D string, second fret, strum, and then third fret D, second fret D. And you see there's a quarter notes, just with the numbers in the stem, those are quarter notes to get one beat. And then I'm gonna go to the measure four here. It's gonna be open D string, but I'm gonna be fingering my G chord, okay? And then I strum it. You see there, zero, zero, three. It's kind of a little strum. One, two, and, and then zero, two, hammer on the D. Then open D. Okay, so that measure exactly. Ready, go. Uh, make sure on the hammer-ons, you know, I know this is kind of a beginner video, that you're not, if you're, you know, if you're new to hammer-ons, we don't want this real quick hammer-on. In this case, we have eighth note hammer-ons, so we have three and, okay, they're equal in duration. Not, but, okay. So let me go ahead and play these first four measures for you here. Turn my heater off, keep forget turn that off. All right, so these first four measures, they sound like this in context now. Uh, one, two. time kind of a little quicker one two three four one two okay then let's move on here to the next few measures we're gonna end this a part we're gonna talk about the first and the second endings and then go on to the B part so um, I'm gonna the tabs on the screen will have the first and the second ending as you see there You'll see the first ending with a one with a line above it. We And there's a double dot, double bar line at the end of that. And we go back to the second measure of the piece. So from measure five, six, from measure six, we go back to measure two. And so make sure you print out your tabs here, but from measure, again, measure six, back to measure two. So it sounds like this. Measure two. And then the second time, so then we'll, re you know, obviously you repeat, you play that A part again, and when you come here to measure five, you're gonna hop over and do measure seven. Okay, which is just slightly different than measure six, okay? That'll be the second time. You see the two with the line above it, that means second ending. So the second time you'll go again from measure five to measure seven. Okay, so we're just kind of learning for those of you, maybe you don't know how to read the repeats or whatnot, so I'm trying to get you familiar with kind of how to read some of the sheet music, okay? If you've read sheet music, then you're, then you probably have seen this before and you understand how repeats work. So, so measure five here, we pluck that bass note, quarter note there on the low A, we strum, and we have a zero two hammer on on the D. And then we have an open G note. So one, two, and three, and four. Again, go. One, two, three, and four. And then we get into the first ending. We play the high, or we play the B string, first fret. And you're already there. You strum. Then here's our little pickup again. Second fret D, third fret D. And then we will go back to the second measure. Okay, let me do 
those two measures for you again. Ready, go. Two, ready, go. Okay. Now, I'm going to do from measure five to measure seven. Okay, the second ending. So if I look at the second ending specifically, I still play that um, B string first fret. I strum. And here's where it's different. Play the B string again, first fret. And then I play the third fret um, on the B string. And I'm gonna catch it with my pinky. As you see there, it's marked. There's a little four above it. I'm gonna play with my pinky. Again, go. And then we'll go on to the B part there. So I'll measure five to measure seven. Ready, go. So the B part, see here, four, five, six, seven, measure eight. So I play that high E, I'm still within my C chord. I play that high E, the quarter note there. I strum, I play the high E again. And then I come back to that third fret B note with my, again, my pinky there. Ready, go. So let me play measures five into the second ending and into the B part, okay? Ready, go. Second ending. Okay, again, go. Let me play the A part in its entirety, repeating it, okay? Here we go. One, two. First ending, repeat, second measure. part let's go ahead and, and move on check out the B part all right so moving on to measure nine now okay we're still on the C chord here um, I'll play these four measures and we'll break them down here's what they sound like ready go Measure nine, I I'm in my C chord, I pluck the B string, first fret, I strum, then open G, strum. So I'm not moving my left hand at all here for this measure. And then measure 10, I'm gonna get into the F chord, okay? So you gotta get a little more strength here. I'm gonna play my F like this, I kinda call it my shorthand F. Um, I got my F chord, I'm gonna play the G string, second fret, and you're already there. I strum, first fret B, second fret G. So again, one, two, and three, four. Ready, go. One, two, and three, four. So really, once you get to F, there's no, you know, you don't move anything in the left hand when you're over top of the F chord there. And then we get back to the C, so moving on. Get back to the C, but I'm gonna play the open G string. Strum, A string, and then open D. So you have to lift your second finger here. That's the measure exactly. Ready, go. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up. Ready, go. All right. And then the next measure, we're going to have play that open D again, but we're going to hammer it on. Second fret. Okay. So strum, pluck it again, D, strum. put all four of those measures together now. Uh, here they are in context. Ready, go. Let's do it again. Ready, go. Friendly reminder, if you haven't already done so, uh, click the link below to download the tabs, uh, five backing tracks, and the audio. Uh, I'm sorry, the video for this. You can actually download. I know you can stream it all here, but you can also download it if you sign up. Um, you know, enter your email and all that stuff to get the entire lesson. Print it off, download it, and you can watch it anytime. So, okay, let's move on to the last few measures here. Um, so measure 13. Sounds like this, these next four. Ready, go. I'll do that again. Ready, go. Again, measure 13, I'm still on my C chord here. Um, I don't, really don't need to move anything in the left hand. I pluck the D, I pluck the open G, I strum, back to the D string. Okay, nice little touch on your right hand, being gentle, relaxed. Don't forget that. If you're not getting clean sounds, you're gonna wanna check your left hand technique. Make sure you're, you're gripping the guitar correctly. Um, and that you're, and in the right hand, make sure you're just attacking the string. I say that lightly, but make sure you're, um, yeah, attacking the string correctly, okay? Um, then we go on to the next measure. We finger our G chord, but we play the open D string. Then we strum. Here's our zero two hammer on again. We've kind of done this already. Zero two hammer on the D. And then I pluck the open D and let off. Okay, so that measure exactly. Ready, go. And then I get back to my C chord. And I pluck that bass note, that's a C note, right there. I strum. And I got a couple cool little hammer-ons here. Zero two on the D, and zero two on the A. I'm sorry, zero two on the G string, it's, it's an A note. And then I pluck the high or the B string first fret. And that's a whole note. That circle around that one just means a whole note. Just four counts. It's like at the end of my solo, if I, you know, it's my turn to solo, um, I'm just, I would end it. One, two, three, and then beginning. Okay, so that's just a way to, again, end your solo. those hammer rounds again it's not no 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 we want make sure you say to yourself if you're having troubles three and four and okay three and four and all right so now then there's there's one more measure on there on the tab and it says last time only and this is kind of a nice little way to in the piece in its entirety. So say you're gonna actually like stop playing or you know, whoever you're with, but this is like the very, very last time, you can go um, from measure 14, 15 to measure set right to measure 17 as an ending. That's why it says last time only. Okay, it's a nice 
little way to end it. So again, you still pluck that B string first fret, and then you pluck the low string third fret. You gotta move your third finger there. And then I sneak my pinky in there where um, I was on the A string, and it says C slash G, and that's the chord we're actually fingering here. And we play all of the strings, and it gives it a nice thick sound. C slash G means there's a C chord with a G note in the bass. Okay, that's what that means, a little more complicated thing. i um, not gonna explain that right now, but that's what's going on. Um, and it just has this nice thick sound. So if I go from measure 15, ready, go. And then went right to the last, last time only measure. Those last four, taking the last time only, from measure 13, one, two, ready, go. See how that, it's a little leap in the right hand there. You kind of got to shoot up and around the strings a bit, but it's dual, very doable. It has a nice sound. All right, so let me play through the whole thing. I'm gonna take the repeats. And um, you can see what it sounds like in context. You can play along with me. You can play the uh, chords if you want. Um, so yeah, beginning. And I will go a nice slow to medium tempo. So one, two, three, four, one, two. And again, uh, remind you last time, if you haven't downloaded the tabs and the practice tracks and the video, again, click the link right below this in the description box, or maybe it's up above, depending on where you're watching. But again, that's a free little lesson. Download everything you need, and you can watch this anytime you'd like. And then when you're set, you can check out my website and uh, see if you're down for learning some more um, bluegrass and old-time music. So that's it for this lesson. Guys and gals, uh, take care, and thanks for watching. One, two, one, two, three.